All right, y'all, we are heading into Carolina Park and we're in what I consider to be the north part of Mount Pleasant. This is, is about as far out as you can go and still be in Mount Pleasant. It kind of borders the Francis Marion Forest and right above us is Allendale and McClellanville. So again, north Mount Pleasant, we're in Carolina Park and Carolina Park, you know, sits up against Wando High School, which Wando High School is one of the top public high schools in the United States. A lot of the times people move here with kids is to send their kids to Wando. So I think it's, it's a great setup. The neighborhood we're going into is Carolina Park. And Carolina Park got started some time ago before the first recession. Everything kind of stopped and it went through bankruptcy twice and it's, it's restarted and it's been rolling since. I mean, I'm really surprised when I go online and look at all the houses that are under contract back here, but it's been very well received. So there's gonna be about 1,500 single family homes and about 500 multifamily homes on about 1,700 acres. There's gonna be you know, commercial aspect built back here in Carolina Park. They haven't really started to flesh that out yet. They do have a church back here, but I've been told, I don't know if this is fact or just somebody telling me something, but you know, that they're gonna build a target back here. So there's, there's a lot of room for commercial growth in the area we're going into. Over to our left, as, as you first come in, the amenity center. So they've got a, uh, I believe it's a junior Olympic sized pool and it's got you know, a water slide and some water features. And it's, you know, this is the beginning of Carolina Park. So we'll ride back in the whole part of Carolina Park here in a little bit, but just to show you the amenity center, they just finished this up. My guess probably tail end of last summer. A lot of people like Carolina Park, people that have families, children, because, you know, having an amenity center is certainly a plus, I think, if you're gonna, you know, try to entertain your kids during the summer. And they're building tennis courts back here. They're not quite done. There'll be soccer fields and just a lot of recreational opportunities, trail systems. Here next to the amenity center, some of the builders that are building back here are built more or less spec model homes. These homes are basically open seven days a week. I think, they only, I think they're only open a couple hours on Sunday, but you know, the various builders, Klein Homes, Sable Homes, David Weekly, Ryland, Ryland's a big builder, national builder. And Structures is one of my favorite ones. We've done an interview with uh, Steve Kendrick before, but if you're building a custom house and have a lot of money, Structures is a phenomenal builder. So we're gonna start off by riding through, I don't wanna say it's a starter home area because at $400,000 to $500,000, it's certainly not a starter home price, but these, these homes to the right were built by Ryland and the homes over to the left are the David Weekly section. You can research these guys online. I mean, I've sold a lot of their houses over the years and I always, felt like they've, they've gone above and beyond what they needed, needed to do to make people happy. They've taken, taken this, you know, kind of Charleston architecture and Charleston colors and built these homes. A lot of double porches, screen porches off the backs. The lots honestly are not that big. I think that's one of the reservations some people have. You know, some people obviously want no land to take care of, but I do take people back here sometimes and they, the lots aren't big enough or they're not private enough for some people so i think it just depends on where you where you sit in that spectrum of buyers but again a lot of houses have been built back here and we're on crane creek road and this section was built by Ryland. and we're going to hop across the street to the ones that were built by david weekly here in just a second All right, y'all, so we're gonna hop across the street from the Ryland section into the David Weekly section. And again, David Weekly, national builder, he's built all over Charleston, and I think he builds a, a, around the United States. If I was gonna pick a builder back here that was a national builder, I would pick David Weekly over Ryland, simply just my personal preference. I don't think there's probably that much of a difference, but I think Weekly probably puts a little bit more into their houses than Ryland does. And you know, as we ride through this neighborhood real quick, you can see that it's very similar architecture to what we saw across the street that Ryland was building. They have some passive parks that some of the houses are built around and, you know, again, a, a palette of Charleston colors. All right, so we're still in Carolina Park, y'all. Uh, we're going into the back part of Carolina Park, or at least the the back as it stands now. There's more development that will happen as th this goes on and it will go even further back than where we are right now, which is the subsection of Carolina Park called Riverside. And Riverside 
or more or less custom spec homes and that basically they're custom builders that are building these houses and they're you know jack burton klein homes again i talked about structures building earlier jackson built custom homes a lot of those guys build in some pretty high-end neighborhoods in daniel island and mount pleasant so you know very well built homes and they're going to be a step up from the area we just rode through that weekly and ryland built the thing about Riverside that I think a lot of people like, and I personally even like, is the fact that there's more space between the houses. Most of these are on about a third of an acre lot, and as we get a little further back here, you'll kind of see, you know, we're shooting this in the uh, beginning of April, and they, again, have just built all these in the last year or so. So the trees haven't quite grown in. I mean, there'll be, in seven, eight years' time, this, is, this streetscape will be even prettier than what it is right now. but. You know, I ride people back through here a lot and they, you know, kind of kind of gravitate towards this, you know, type of architecture, big porches. Like I said, you know, pretty good green space. A lot of these homes back up to woodlands buffers and even some wetlands in, in certain spots. Home prices back here are pretty high, honestly, I think, for as far out in Mount Pleasant as we are. But I do like Carolina Park and I do like Riverside. The home prices as we're shooting this video range anywhere in this section from the high fives into the sevens, maybe even low eights, depending on you know who builds the house. But I do like this section and it will be further developed out. They're actually selling some water oriented lots. There's a lake back here is what the developer was telling me that they're gonna build some houses around that's gonna be, I think, pretty cool. Those will be up in probably close to a million dollars. To give you a real quick perspective on where Carolina Park is in relation to Charleston, if we were to drive out of here right now and drive to downtown Charleston, it'd probably take us a good, good 30 to 35 minutes. Um, you can get to the beaches on Isle of Palms or Sullivan's, Isle of Palms being close. It's probably about 15 minutes. And there's a ton of shopping out here. And again, as we spoke at the beginning of the Carolina Park driving tour, it is gonna have a lot of commercial built in, into it. And it ties into Park West, which we're gonna head into here in a minute, which already has a lot of development and already has a lot of commercial uh, built into it. 